Well, I'm up here, uh, what is it, like March 6th or 7th or something, and uh, I got the woodshed built out about as good as I want to get for now. Uh, at least good enough to keep the snow and stuff out of our materials. I'll be bringing the windows up soon to put in there, so I just want to keep like the wind-driven rain and whatnot off of it, but I don't know. The roof slid. There's about two feet of snow still up here. And so I got about five feet of snow on the side of it before I can put the battens up. So essentially I'm just moving on to a different project for now, which I'm going to be building the outhouse. <clears throat> I had to dig out the uh, scrap wood pile because basically I'm going to make the outhouse out of all scraps for the most part. So that, I had to shovel that out. I don't know, that took about a half hour. Well, another funny thing is, uh, I don't know, just down the road from here, like maybe 10 miles, there's not a single single pile of snow left. Even like the stuff they plowed off the road. So we're in, we're in a big snow belt right here. It doesn't melt up here till May, which leaves a small window for working. You know, you got to hammer it out in the five months or whatever you get. But uh, I don't know, that's part of being a northerner, I guess. Just long winters and short building season so gotta make do and another small fact of uh, this outhouse build is I quit chewing tobacco about 24 hours ago so I don't know get a little rage flare up once in a while just kind of use it for drive on my my build you know but uh, that's not too bad I chewed for like 15 years I'm just, uh, I don't know, growing out of it, I guess. Quit drinking like four years ago, and I don't smoke weed or any of that stuff, so I slowly just quit doing everything, I suppose. Anyways, hopefully I don't get too irritable and break something. Anyhow, here's the hole I dug last fall. I've been renting like a honey bucket or whatever. I'm just gonna build something up here and if I have friends come up to help me or whatever, you know, it's just nice to have an outhouse. Alrighty, well, as you can tell, I'm building an outhouse from scrap lumber. And this is all lumber that I couldn't use on my cabin project that I'll be starting here in a, I don't know, about a month, as soon as the snow melts and the ground thaws and and whatnot but uh, if you haven't checked out those videos you can always go back and, and check them out I got a Woodland Mills HM 126 and I did a bunch of logging as well as drove around town and and gathered big logs and pine trees from local arborists and people cutting them down and um, yeah basically just been stockpiling lumber for the last year and other materials so should be starting that soon and uh, just using this up in the meantime to build this outhouse because every every homestead needs a good outhouse right so a little about me I'm uh, 32 born and raised in northeastern Washington and uh, that's where we own our property now uh, me and my wife Lindsay we bought 23 acres up here in the mountains kind of close to where we live and uh, we're building the off-grid homestead you know we want to do everything from milling the wood ourselves to you know solar and all that stuff we're obviously doing it on an extreme budget you know everything I've 
god I've earned through hard work and just kind of blue collar construction my whole life but uh I hope that video recording the whole prog process can uh you know kind of show other people that it is possible to build an, an off-grid homestead um for, for on the cheap you know you don't need a big loan or or a ton of money saved up or anything like that. Uh, if you're willing to work hard for it, you can do it. Well, I got uh, quite a bit done today in one day. It's pretty but uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I'll have to cut out the floor uh, right here and I'm gonna build a bench on this backside. And, uh, and then, yeah, toilet seat there and then probably a bucket of, I don't know, sawdust or something or another and then kind of have a little overhang right here so it's a little porch to keep the snow out of the way of the door in the winter um, I'm assuming we'll have this for like two years or you know until next year we can get the septic in and all that but should work for now it's kind of on sleds too so if it gets full or whatever I can just hook it up to the tractor and, and sled it somewhere else drag it over a hole and good to go so Anyways, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Mostly just because it's hard to get anything done in this snow. And this is like the one area of the property where the sun shines all the time. So, I mean, you saw the, the snow piles just pain to dig, dig. And then I had to dig another one to get the uh, screws out in a different pile. So, I don't know. I feel pretty accomplished for one day. I'm going to come back and eventually board and batten and siding and we'll have to put a roof on it and I got some shingles and some metal so I'll probably go with metal I don't know but uh yeah that's it for today it's bizarre weather man it's like snowing and sunny out really bright can't really see the snow from that angle but it was just blizzarding now it's just snowing and sunny so was trying to work but it was really coming down and it took about 10 minutes to blow by and now I'll get back to work <clears throat> well I got the little bench part working here basically just framed up a deal and then I'm gonna put boards going across that way and cut out a circle for it and, uh, Got some rafters built. Cut it at 712 pitch. Um, got, also got the uh, base cut out for. Well, it's got a hole in there to go down in. Yeah, just doing the rafters here. I'm gonna have to cut these back, which I will. Got yeah, one more to do in the middle here. And I should be able to put metal on it. Right and early, I got uh, my camera died yesterday, but I got a little bit more done. Um, in the meantime. Getting the roof done here and got the uh, purlins on, skip sheeting. Again, it's all scrap lumber. And the back, back rest deal there, but uh, now, I, now I gotta put the purlins on the um, side, the horizontal slats for so we can attach board and batten sidings. Well, anyways, I'm uh, I'm pretty new to YouTube, so I think at the time of making this video, I have a 190 subscribers, which that's totally fine with me. My my intentions of making these videos isn't to you know get fame and fortune or whatever off YouTube. I I don't care about that. It's mainly just to you know document the whole process of homesteading. Um, so when I'm an old man, I can look back on it and. And enjoy as well as other people might want to learn something from my mistakes or you know just uh, learn something in general from from these videos so I don't know about you but I've learned a ton off YouTube so it's time to give back a little bit 
it ain't no brick shit house, but it's a pretty solid rough sawn shit house. All right, so uh, it's the next day. I got the pull cord on the sawmill fixed because as you saw, it broke on the first pull. I, I just used some old paracord I had, but apparently it wasn't like real paracord. It was the cheap knockoff stuff. So I replaced it with some good paracord, which is rated to like freaking 4,000 pounds or something, man. So hopefully that holds up and uh, we can get some siding milled so I can finish the outhouse that's the goal I'm trying to finish the outhouse I got a little fire going on over there so I got to kind of monitor that a little bit but All right, well, I pretty much got the board and batten, the board part of it done. Um, I just gotta do one right here, measure that, and then a few small ones up there. So I might do that. I'm getting pretty pressed for time. I also, I think I may just uh, hop up on the roof and get the metal roofing done. And then we'll see if I have time to get this done today. So I got these galvanized panels I got for free on Craigslist. So I'll slap those on there. This thing's basically free. I just had a, actually I got the nails for free too, so. Anyway, inside here, in the outhouse part itself, I took uh, two pieces of metal, just kind of like a urinal backsplash, because when you're standing up, if you're a dude, it's gonna wanna kinda splash, so I want it to just go down into the hole part, and then kinda, if you're sitting there, you know, got another backsplash there, so I'm pretty sure that'll work. <laughs> I don't really know the geometry of taking a crap, but I assume that that's, that's going to work. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super grateful to even have the opportunity to, to build off-grid and to build my own cabin and, and to do this whole thing. You know, I live in a great country, and... Um, 
and it's not through luck or anything like that. I've worked my whole life in order for this opportunity, so uh, just through determination and hard work, finally able to do it. Anyways, I, I appreciate the encouragement and all the nice comments um, you guys leave in the comment section. You know, it's a sure, sure sign of your character when you're positive and happy, you know. I occasionally get the, the weird troll guy or whatever that has no life and likes to put people down online, but everyone knows that guy's a loser. <laughs> Well, that just about wraps up my day. Uh, got the outhouse pretty much framed. Got the roof on. So when I get back, I'll do batten strips. I don't know when it'll be. I have to do fascia board across the front. Fascia board on there. I'm gonna finish the board and batten, but I'm gonna frame that in so it's sealed off. And then I'll build a door and that'll pretty much be it. Came out pretty square for being, <laughs> all the wood is just so warped and twisted and you know, but yeah, I th I'm pretty happy with it. So might have to cloak some holes on the galvanized uh, metal cause it's old. There's like spots that are rusted. I noticed, you know, like that. But oh well, I'll caulk it and it's good enough for now. So definitely the older I've become, the more I've realized the power of, you know, positive thinking and, uh, and visualization. Like, if you want something out of life and, and you have a dream, my, my advice is just to, to visualize it with super detail and essentially just obsess over it and just keep visualizing it in your mind. And it's crazy. Your life will change so much. You'll literally manifest results like over time and uh, and create windows of opportunity that if you're aware of them happening you'll be able to capitalize on them and it'll lead you in the right direction towards your dreams and your goals so uh, people definitely underestimate you know the power of your mind there's that old saying like control your thoughts or your thoughts will control you and I, didn't, I think that's very true you know Anyways, thanks for watching my videos and God bless. Well, there she is, all done. Camera's about to die, but I think it looks pretty dang good. Got this door I built. I gotta sweep it out and stain it and all that, but uh, hey, it even closes automatically fish on it and not too bad for scrap lumber. <laughs>